1. Introduction to Transfer Pricing Methods Transfer pricing methods refer to the mechanisms used by multinational corporations MNCs, to determine the value of goods and services exchanged between their subsidiaries in different countries. These methods are essential for MNCs to allocate profits and expenses among their subsidiaries, comply with tax regulations, and minimize their tax liabilities. Transfer pricing methods have become increasingly important due to the globalization of businesses, which has led to a rise in cross-border transactions. Understanding transfer pricing methods is crucial for businesses that operate in multiple jurisdictions, as it can impact their financial statements, tax obligations, and overall profitability. In this article, we will explore the types of transfer pricing methods, the factors that influence them, and their importance in business. 2. Types of Transfer Pricing Methods Transfer pricing methods are used by multinational corporations to determine the price of goods and services transferred between their subsidiaries in different countries. There are several types of transfer pricing methods, each with its own advantages and disadvantages. The first type of transfer pricing method is the Comparable Uncontrolled Price CUP, method. This method compares the price of a product or service sold between related parties with the price of a similar product or service sold between unrelated parties. The CUP method is considered the most reliable transfer pricing method as it relies on actual market data. The second type of transfer pricing method is the cost plus method. This method adds a markup to the cost of producing a product or service to arrive at a transfer price. The markup represents the profit margin that the selling subsidiary would earn if it sold the product or service to an unrelated party. The cost plus method is easy to apply but may not accurately reflect market conditions. The third type of transfer pricing method is the resale price method. This method calculates the transfer price based on the resale price of a product or service sold by the buying subsidiary to an unrelated party. A markup is added to the resale price to arrive at the transfer price. The resale price method is useful when the buying subsidiary does not add significant value to the product or service. The fourth type of transfer pricing method is the transactional net margin method TNMM. This method compares the net profit margin earned by a subsidiary on a related party transaction with the net profit margin earned on similar transactions with unrelated parties. The TNMM is flexible and can be applied to a wide range of transactions. The fifth type of transfer pricing method is the profit split method. This method divides the profits from a related party transaction between the selling and buying subsidiaries based on the functions performed, risks assumed, and assets employed by each subsidiary. The profit split method is useful when both subsidiaries contribute equally to the transaction. Choosing the right transfer pricing method depends on several factors, including the nature of the transaction, the availability of comparable market data, and the level of risk involved. It is important for multinational corporations to carefully consider these factors when selecting a transfer pricing method to ensure compliance with tax laws and regulations. 3. Factors Influencing Transfer Pricing Methods When it comes to transfer pricing methods, there are several factors that can influence the decision-making process. One of the most important factors is the nature of the product or service being transferred. For example, if the product is highly specialized and unique, it may be difficult to find comparable prices in the market, which could make it challenging to determine an appropriate transfer price. Another factor that can influence transfer pricing methods is the location of the parties involved. If the two entities are located in different countries with different tax laws, it can be challenging to come up with a transfer price that satisfies both parties and complies with local regulations. The level of competition in the industry can also play a role in determining transfer pricing methods. If the industry is highly competitive, companies may need to keep their transfer prices low in order to remain competitive. On the other hand, if the industry is less competitive, companies may have more flexibility in setting transfer prices. Finally, the relationship between the two entities involved in the transfer can also impact the transfer pricing method. 4. Importance of transfer pricing methods in business. 
Transfer pricing methods are crucial for businesses that operate in multiple countries. These methods help companies to determine the prices of goods and services that are transferred between their subsidiaries, which can have a significant impact on their tax liabilities and profits. One of the main benefits of transfer pricing methods is that they help businesses to comply with tax regulations in different countries. By using an appropriate transfer pricing method, companies can ensure that they are not overpaying or underpaying taxes in any particular country. This can help them avoid penalties and legal issues that could arise from non-compliance. Overall, transfer pricing methods are an essential tool for businesses that operate across borders. They can help companies to comply with tax regulations, optimize their profits, and manage their reputational risk. As such, it is important for businesses to understand the different types of transfer pricing methods available and to choose the one that best suits their needs.